Hey fam, after attending over 175 hours of events hosted by the life coach, Tony Robbins, I've heard a lot that he's had to say about physical health. Well, get ready to level up your life because we're gonna talk all about Tony Robbins, top health tips, and how you can incorporate them into your life starting today. I'm John, this is an Apple, and welcome back to the channel where we discuss my best tips and tools to help empower you to live your best life and have fun doing it. Over the next few minutes, you're gonna learn Tony Robbins' top eight health tips covering everything from proper breathing to micronutrients. And hey, nice job. By watching this video, you're directly improving your life by working on your physical health. So stick around to the end to officially level up with me. Before we jump into the tips, one thing first. During Tony's events, I was happy to see that he almost always discussed scientific studies to back up his teachings. But really, I believe when you break down what he's talking about, he's really just teaching people to eat healthy, exercise, exercise and care for their mental health. But let me know what you think about his tips in the comments below. Tip number one, practice deep breathing every day. Tony kicks off his health teachings by discussing the single most important thing that your body needs to survive oxygen. We don't often think about breathing when it comes to our health, so it's an interesting thing to be more mindful of. He recommends doing 10 power breaths three times each day, which involve breathing in for four seconds, holding your breath for 16 seconds, and then releasing for eight seconds. I try this out for a few weeks and this honestly took me a while to work up to and I actually don't do it anymore. Instead, this has taught me to do three things. First, I'm more mindful of my breathing in general. Second, I take deep breaths throughout the day, especially when I meditate. And then third, I've learned to breathe more into my stomach, which the American Lung Association says is the proper way to breathe. To put this into practice in your life, set a reminder to take three deep breaths in the middle of the day and then practice breathing into your stomach instead of your chest. It takes a little bit of time. Tip number two, stay hydrated. Tony then discusses the next most important thing that your body needs, water. And there's some logic to this order when you think about something called the rule of threes, which states that generally you can survive for three minutes without air, three days without water, and then three weeks without food. And interestingly, water accounts for up to 60% of your body and organs, like your brain, heart, and kidneys, which contain almost 80% water. Tony recommends drinking half of your body weight in ounces every day. So for example, if you weigh 180 pounds, you drink 90 ounces across the day, which is about 11 cups or 11 to 13 glasses of water depending on how you measure it. And there are a ton of benefits to getting enough water, like improving your energy levels and brain function, preventing and treating headaches, relieving constipation, treating kidney stones, preventing hangovers, and trust me, I practice that one a lot. And it can even aid you with weight loss by keeping you feeling full and boosting your metabolic rate. Tony recommends shaking your water to oxidize it, but I couldn't find anything that really backed this up. He also recommends that 70% of your food be high water content like fruits and vegetables. To put this into practice in your life, measure out how many cups of water you need to drink and try pouring all of your water that you need in the morning. So you never have to think about how much more you need later in the day. Tip number Number three, consume healthy oils and fat. Tony recommends that you add the following to your diet. One, nuts such as almonds, hazelnuts, pumpkin, and sunflower seeds. Two, oils such as flaxseed, olive oil, and fish oil. And three, avocados, which contain healthy monounsaturated fats, antioxidants, and fatty acids like omega-3 and omega-6. Diets high in monounsaturated fats can help with weight loss and may reduce risk factors for heart disease, as long as they don't add extra calories to your diet. Healthline also discusses some studies that show that these fats, especially olive oil, may help reduce cancer risk, inflammation, and insulin resistance. Tony recommends avoiding unhealthy fats such as most butters, cheese, vegetable oils, and deep fried foods. To put this into practice in your life, pick three healthy foods and oils from the recommended list and add them to your grocery list. And then identify one unhealthy fat and remove it from your purchases in the future. For example, you could add avocados, olive oil, and almonds to your grocery list and stop buying cheese. Tip number four, go on an alkaline diet filled with green vegetables. Tony talks about how people today eat a lot of foods that cause your body to produce acid and that changing your body's pH level more towards alkaline can improve your health in many ways, even fighting off cancer. I haven't been able to find the right studies that really back this up, but because an alkaline diet tends to be low in fat, calories, and red meat, it naturally promotes a healthy body weight and 
lowers heart disease risk factors. And he recommends that you eat more of these foods. And pause the video and take a screenshot if you want to remember these lists. And here's a bonus tip for having an alkaline diet. Add lemon to your water each day. This is confusing because lemon has a pH of about 2, but once it's metabolized in your body, it actually becomes alkaline with a pH well above 7. Put this into practice in your life. Squeeze one lemon into your water each day. Pick three healthy foods to add to your grocery list and remove three unhealthy foods. For example, you could add carrots, spinach, and broccoli, and make a note not to buy white flour, hot dogs, and sour cream. Tip number five, exercise. Tony talks about the importance of being healthy, not just fit. You should challenge your body so that you grow and enhance your muscles, including your heart. He recommends getting in 30 minutes of cardio three times per week, and he asks people to remember to make it fun. For example, do it with a friend, create a group challenge, or dance to music in your house. To put this into practice, in in your life, plan to jog or run during the week by adding three 30-minute blocks to your calendar that repeat every week. And speaking of making it fun, that's an important part of my channel. And if you want to continue making self-improvement fun, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my other videos. Also, I have a Discord server where you can meet other people interested in living their best lives and achieving their dreams. The first 1,000 people who join using the link in the description below will be given the special role of champion which will give you exclusive access to perks like a private channel to chat with other champions and myself. But anyways, let's jump into the next tip. Tip number six, get your macro and micronutrients. Based on your health and fitness goals, your body needs a certain level of macronutrients or macros. These are proteins, carbs, and fats. Right now, I'm trying to put on more muscle and reduce my body fat percentage. And my macro breakdown is roughly 45% carbs, 32% protein, and 23% fat. I highly recommend calculating your maintenance calories, which is the number of calories that your body needs to perform basic functions such as muscle movement, cell growth, and energy conversion. The Mayo Clinic has a calorie calculator which will estimate the number of calories that your body needs to maintain your current weight. I'll link that in the description below. And according to Harvard Health, if you want to lose weight, reduce your maintenance calories by 500 to 1000. And next, Tony recommends getting the right micronutrients, including fiber, potassium, vitamins A, C, and D, calcium, and iron. I recommend using the app MyFitnessPal, which is what I use to track everything that I eat to make sure I'm getting the right level of calories, macros, and micros. For example, it's helped me notice that my sodium levels tend to be a little bit high, and that I could get more potassium in my diet. But tracking everything you eat can be a bit overwhelming, and not everyone wants to do that, so try this. For one day, eat meals that you usually eat and just track that one day in MyFitnessPal, which is especially easy if you use the barcode scanner in the app. Then use that one day to estimate how well you do on average and see if you need to make any changes. For example, you might notice that maybe your cholesterol intake is pretty high. Tony has some other eating tips like eat fruit only on an empty stomach and do not eat carbs and proteins together. But again, I haven't found science that's actually backed this up. However, feel free to try it out yourself and see what your your body actually likes. That being said, Tony does have some other good tips, such as one, eat in a relaxed state and chew and savor your food. Two, don't overeat and listen to your body when it's hungry or full. And three, try eating organic foods. My brother recently recommended Googling Dirty Dozen, which will send you to a website that shows you the best foods that you should eat organically. To put this into practice in your life, use the Mayo Clinic calorie calculator to calculate your maintenance calories, add or remove calories based on your health goals, and then track one day of your meals in MyFitnessPal to see how you're doing on average. Tip number seven, maintain proper body alignment. Next, Tony recommends being mindful of your body posture when you're sitting and standing. Don't slouch and instead keep your back straight and neutral. Make sure you stay active and move as many muscles in your body as you can daily and take time to stretch. To put this into practice in your life, start each day by stretching your arms, back and legs. Set reminders on your phone to stand up and move around a little bit every hour and take the stairs whenever you can. And finally, 
Tip number eight, care for your mental health. Tony likes to say that you need to calm the F down, but the F stands for freak, which means to calm and eliminate your self-doubts and self-criticism. You should stand guard at the door of your mind and only let in the right thoughts and do your very best to flood yourself with positive emotions and thoughts every day. But this isn't just positive thinking. It's truly embracing what you're grateful for and what's going well in your life. You should work on trading your expectations for appreciation, as Tony likes to say. Also, acknowledge the power of your self-talk. Your words have the ability to shape your own identity and define your experiences. Let me show you two examples. First, if you always call yourself a procrastinator, then that's the truth. Instead, you could tell yourself that you always always make time for what's important. And second, if you've lost a loved one like me, then you could either describe that experience as depressing and defeating, or as one that made you appreciative of the time that you have with your friends and family. Again, your words matter. To put this into practice, meditate for five minutes each day to train your mind. And each night before bed, think of one thing that you learned, one thing that you're grateful for, and one thing that went really well. So now you know Tony Robbins' top eight health tips and and my views and advice for each of them. But let's take a step back to remember why you watched this video. You're probably interested in improving your physical health in some form. Well, I just shared a lot of recommendations, but all that might be hard to remember or overwhelming to implement. So instead, choose three things that you wanna change and just start there. Afterward, think about adding more over time. And well done by watching until the very end, you've directly improved your life across one important category, your physical health, and congrats on love up. Remember, whether you know it or not, you are unique, you are profoundly loved, and you're capable of shaking the very foundations of this world with your greatness. I'm John, you've just leveled up, and I'll see you in the next one.